केस में एक अभियुक्त ने एक अपनी लिविन गर्लफ्रेंड को मार के घर में ही दफना दिया है साथ ही अपने बयान में उसने ये भी स्वीकारा है कि अपने माँ बाप को जो कि 2010 के लगभग रायपुर में थे रायपुर में उनकी भी हत्या करके उन्होंने रायपुर में ही एक घर में उनको दफना Our today's video is about the Bengal's high-profile serial killer, Psycho Udayan Das, a 32-year-old young man who killed his girlfriend and buried her in a marble tomb at his home a year after murdering his parents and burying them in Ripoor. Udayan Das brings back memories of the Boston Strangler who murdered several young women between 1962 and 1964, and Charles Sobranch. If he was not caught, he had the bent of mind to carry out more murders. Udayan spent his childhood in the Shivajinagar locality, from where the family shifted to Ripoor. Udayan Das came to Ripoor in 2001 as a class 11 student. The family moved here after his mother Indrani Das, an employee of the MP government, was transferred to Ripoor and Katasgaf was formed in 2000. Udayan's father, VK Das, had by then already retired from BHEL, where he had worked as a foreman. According to the details, Udayan was a smart student. His grades began to fall soon after he got hooked on to social networking sites such as Orkut and got distracted. Udayan, who went to a well-known school in Ripoor, would go on to fail his board exams, unable to clear his mathematics paper. The next year, he passed the exams through open school. This academic setback drove the line between him and his parents. They wanted him to be an engineer, but he showed no interest in studying, spending most of his time at home on the internet. A year after he cleared his board exams, His parents enrolled him for a computer science course as he went to college for the first 3 years but failed several examinations and dropped out in his 4th year. He had several back papers and very poor attendance. He did not complete the course. Udayan reportedly forged his papers to show he had cleared the course. He lied to his parents about finishing college and never got a job. His parents' insistence that he get a job led to tension at home once again. Due to this tension at home, he decided to murder his parents. In 2010, one day went with his father out in the market and mother Indrani resting in one of the rooms of their poor house. He allegedly smothered her by pressing her throat. After half an hour, when his father returned from the market, he told him that mother Indrani she was getting ready to go to the temple. and asked his father to have a cup of tea Udayan laced the tea with sleeping pills within minutes his father was drowsy and Udayan killed him it is perhaps his relationship with his parents that encouraged the criminal in him Udayan then called a construction worker and asked him to dig a pit in the garden to install a septic tank dot and Udayan offered him a good sum of money for this job and a foot deep pit was dug by the worker Udayan put both the bodies into the pit and filled the earth back in. After murder of his parents, Udayan befriended with Akanshaw over Facebook. Udayan pretended to help her get a job in US. The young girl trusted and sent her off to Delhi. On June 22nd, her family dropped her off at Dagapur station from where she boarded a train to Delhi. After reaching Delhi, she spoke to her parents. saying she was waiting for her tickets after which she would fly to New York while it's unclear how and why she went to bottle from Delhi for first 10 days she regularly spoke to her parents then she started communicating only on WhatsApp in October first week Udayan visited her parents and stayed there for 2 days 
During his stay he makes sure that her parents feel easy about their daughter. However, suspicion grew when Akan Shaw did not come back to home in November as promised, and her parents lodged a police complaint on January 4, 2017. Akan Shaw's parents have also alleged that Hugh Dion had siphoned off 1 lakh 20,000 rupee from her account as they had deposited to her bank account. It was around June 2016 that Akan Shaw came to live with Yu Dian in Sakit Nagar. Yu Dian killed her by the third week of July and entombed her body. Yu Dian kept his three victims alive on Facebook through fake profiles, where he posted regular updates and comments to avoid drawing any suspicion from his relatives or Akan Shaw's parents. He has told police that he drew his inspiration from an episode of the American show Crime Scene Investigation. The episode apparently shows the murderer entomb the body, but a crack in the concrete eventually leads sniffer dogs to the murder. So Yu Dian ensured there were no cracks in the tomb he built. While Yu Dian claims Akan Shaw was his life partner and that he killed her because of her proximity to her other friends. According to the psychologists, he is intelligent. He could plan so many things together, follow the norms of society, make himself acceptable to others and at the same time, live in a virtual world he created. It was this mentality that led him to create over about 110 fake email and Facebook accounts. He would note down the email IDs and passwords and then use them to comment on his own posts. He even posted likes from different accounts just to portray that he was successful and accepted in life. Yu Dian had also made fake profiles of his sister Diamira Shane, brother-in-law Michigan Abignal Shane and nephew Arian Shane. He even showed his location along with wife Akang Shaw in Paris in 2013 and posted picture taking delivery of Lamborghini. The plan of the super rich as he used to exhibit himself on FB, come to the end when Akan Shaw's parents pushed the authorities to say reach their missing daughter. The police started to re-examine the details and it was the turning point came when they looked up Akan Shaw's passport details and found she hadn't even stepped out of the country. This was a serious case a person was virtually present but physically missing. Further details lead the police to Udayan's home. The West Bengal police then moved to Bangara court for a search warrant of Udayan's Sakit Nagar home. It was there that police found the platform and inside, Akin Shaw's body wrapped in polythene. The body had been so carefully wrapped, some of the features were still intact. Udayan is currently under interrogation by Bangara police in Bangara town. Kindly don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.